in this video, we're going to get an Azure Vault secret, specifically a password, uh, in a Python application. So I have a sample Python application here. It's a Django application. Um, and on the right is akv underscore vars pi. This is uh, sensitive variables that are used to authenticate and access the secret. Um, I want to first stipulate that this does not need to be put in source control. This needs to be a, a well-guarded file. If someone gets this, they can have access to the secrets. Um, and that's what we're trying to prevent by using the vault. So please guard this and do not put it in source control. Uh, here's the application ID. This is generated when we create a service principle. Um, we create the service principle to act as an agent on our behalf. Uh, with limited permissions that we assign it. So we need the application ID for for that registered application. Um, it's tangent to a, a service principle. So we also have a key, uh, which is essentially a token. Uh, we can have multiple tokens. We can create and destroy these at will um, for the, the purpose of authentication. So this is kind of like the username and the password. Um, then we have a tenant ID, which is specific to an, an account uh, subscription. So uh, I'm getting this, the actual value with, um, you know, an environment variable. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a GUID, just like the application ID. So down here we have um, the Azure Key Vault secret variables. These are the variables that are used to uh, access the vault and the secret. So uh, there's one vault URL, uh, however many vaults need to be accessed, um, there'll be you know, that many variables with vault URLs. Uh, I'm just showing one here, and I'm showing one of each uh, for simplicity, but you know, realistically, there'll be multiple secrets uh, that need to be you know, pulled down. So <clears throat> this secret name, uh, is obvious it's uh, you know the name of the secret it matches the the name that's given to the secret in the vault so it knows what to pull um, and then this version secret version this is the version of the secret um, kind of like version control uh, you know get so <clears throat> this is the the version number of this secret named demo secret um, this is useful so you know if say we have several applications they're not all uh, updated at the same time so some need to pull you know older secrets um, if this is left blank it's going to pull the latest secret um, so which is perfectly fine um, it does need to be passed here or maybe empty strings put here uh, but this can be you know empty string variable and, and pass and it's going to pull the last secret similar to pulling a docker image um, without specifying the tag it's going to pull the last image so uh, with that over on the left the akv.py file uh, we're importing a couple of um, packages here and uh, first we need to um, install a package with pip install and it's azure dash uh, key vault i've already installed it um, you can see it's quite a, a few dependencies um, i wanted to show you that uh, first we have you know the the packages that that we need to uh, authenticate and then access the key vault. And then we have um, importing the uh, AKV vars, this file over here. So we have access to the variables. Uh, first, we're packaging the credentials and storing, in an, in a, storing that into a credentials file. Um, we're you know, using the, the client ID, which is in Azure speak, um, the same thing as a application ID. Uh, secret is the key and then the tenant is the tenant ID 
Um, and then we're using those credentials, passing it to this key vault client, uh, storing that into a client variable, and then using the client uh, to get the secret, which uses the vault URL, the secret name, and the secret version. Um, we want just the value um, of the version, but I'll take this off and we can run this um, just so you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> um, and then we have this, you know, a lot of data come back, but all we're really interested in is, is this secret value here. So all of this, as far as application goes, um, we don't need it. So if we just put, um, you know, dot, dot value here, and then we run this again, we'll get just the value um, assigned to that variable, and that's really all we need as far as a secret. Now, with multiple, you know, variables, you can do this a, a multiple different ways. You can put them in, you know, a map and then do a for loop to iterate over and then get each secret. Um, essentially, you only need, you know, to do the credentials once um, and once you get a client you can act, use that client to access multiple secrets so you know this could you know be put in into a function and then the for loop could iterate and call the function with the, the variables and get the, the values that way however you choose uh, to do that it's really up to you um, also this file typically needs to be um, ran you know the secrets need to be gotten when the application starts so it needs to be put somewhere um, or at least called from somewhere uh, upon close to the application starting um, there's a few different places to put it um, again that's you know entirely up to you and the team how you do that um, you know a couple of good places is you know the manage py um, file uh, if that doesn't work for you, then maybe the, the whiskey file or even the apps.py file, depending on how the, the application is structured. So this has been how to get a secret, specifically a password. Um, you can also get keys and certificates in a similar fashion. Um, but how to get secrets in a Python application.